very good day to all of you in this presentation we will try to recall all the important relations which we will be using in second law efficiency analysis as well as exergy analysis so in this slide you will hope you will get all the information within few slides so first we should go into the uh, basic uh, thermodynamic uh, equations so first it starts with the mass balance of the system i hope you should be aware with the mass balance so if you want to find out the mass change in the system first we need to calculate what is the mass input into the system and what is the mass output of the system so from there we can calculate what is the mass transfer in the system similarly you want to find out the energy balance you need to find out what is the net energy input into the system and the energy which is leaving the system this will be equal to the total energy transfer so this will be equal to the uh, the sum of the change in internal energy kinetic energy and potential energy here the energy input can be from heat can be from work can be from mass so basically we need to account for the energy input by heat energy input by work energy input by mass minus the sum of uh, minus the energy output by heat work and mass so this uh, difference will give us the total change in uh, change in energy of the system the same way we want to find out the entropy balance of the system you need to calculate what is the uh, entropy uh, which is entering the system and what is the entropy which is leaving the system the difference will give us the net entropy transfer and within the system there may be entropy generated so we need to account for the entropy generation so that will give us the idea about what is the change in entropy and then the last one is the important one which is exergy balance you want to find out the exergy uh, change then we need to find out what is the exergy input what is the exergy output how much energy is entering the system in terms of heat work and mass and then uh, when the system undergoes the process then normally the exergy is getting destroyed within the system so we need to account for the exergy destroyed so exergy entering minus exergy which is leaving minus the exergy destroyed will give us the and a change in exergy of the system this is the first uh, important uh, formula exergy of the potential energy and kinetic energy are given by the uh, given by the energy which is equal to themselves for example you take you know the value you know the formula for potential energy which is mgh so this energy is almost available for useful work so therefore the exergy of the potential energy is equal to mgh in the same way exergy of the kinetic energy is all, always equal to half v square so this energy is already available for useful work so the exergy of potential energy and kinetic energy is equal to the equal to themselves actually okay mg uh, we have a flow stream so there in that we divide this exergy of the flowing stream into two parts one is for the non flowing part the other one is for the flow part for the flow part we have this uh, work which is uh, exergy is given by p minus p naught into v so you can understand this figure so you consider the uh, arrangement of uh, shaft work where there is a on the one side the pressure and volume is given by this the other side it is p naught into v so basically this will be our flow energy which is p minus p naught into v whereas the non flowing part you can roughly take all these terms which is u minus u naught then uh, t naught minus uh, t naught into s minus s naught plus v2 square by by 2 plus g is uh, this accounts for potential energy and kinetic energy so and uh, this u plus pv if you combine if, if from here these two terms you have u you have p uh, pv so this u plus pv is nothing but the enthalpy so if you rearrange all these terms we can get the exergy flow as can be expressed as h minus h naught minus t naught into s minus s naught plus v square by 2 plus g z this is the exergy of a particular fluid which is entering the system we want to find out the entropy exergy change exergy change then we need to account for the uh, account for the state uh, 1 and state 2 so that will be equal to psi 2 minus psi 1 which will be equal to the enthalpy at point number 2 minus 1 which is h2 minus h1 minus t naught into s2 minus s1 plus m into v2 square minus v1 square by 2 plus mg z2 minus z1 so this is uh, useful for 
exergy of a uh, exergy of a different state and you want to find out the exergy by work it is given by exergy by work is equal to w minus uh, surrounding which is for a boundary work for other forms of work let's say potential energy and kinetic energy it is already equal to w itself as we seen just previously then coming to the second law efficiency you want to find out the second law efficiency we need to basically account for the exergy during the process so for example second law efficiency can be given as exergy out by exergy in or if you want to and it can also be expressed as 1 minus exergy destroyed by exergy input into the system so basing base, based on the exergy out exergy in and exergy destruction we can calculate the second law efficiency specifically more specifically for a heat engine it is given by actual thermal efficiency divided by reversible efficiency and for a work producing devices like turbine all these things it is actual work by the reversible or maximum work similarly for the work consuming device like compressors we can write this as reversible work divided by actual work and you want to find out the second law efficiency for a refrigerators and heat pump there will be actual cop divided by the reversible cop or maximum possible cop so based on this we can find out the second law efficiencies of various thermodynamic system so more specifically we can find out the equations for uh, second law efficiencies of various steady flow devices for a turbine it is given by h1 minus h2 by exergy change in the system exergy change is uh, x uh, psi 1 minus psi 2 or in terms of uh, in terms of entropy uh, generation also we can find out it is 1 minus t naught into s generation which will be the this component is also the exergy which is destroyed and this is the exergy which is uh, in, in into the system so this accounts for exergy input into the system and this one accounts for the exergy destroyed. So if you know the exergy destroyed divided by the exergy of the exergy input of the system, we can calculate what is the second law efficiency. The same way you can do for a compressor. We have a heat exchanger. In the case of heat exchangers, we have a cold fluid and hot fluid. So basically what is the energy gained by the cold fluid divided by the energy lost by the hot fluid. This ratio will give us the uh, heat exchanger efficiency so basically we need to account for the exergy change of the cold fluid exergy change of the hot fluid and in the case of mixing chamber we need to account for uh, three two fluids and then basically when it mixed it gets uh, another uh, another exergy will come so if you want to find out the mixing chamber second law efficiency we need to use the uh, x x psi 3 minus psi 2 by psi 1 minus psi 3 so this is the exergy change between fluid 3 and 2 this is the exergy change between fluid 1 and 3 this can also be expressed in terms of entropy uh, exergy destroyed which is b1 minus t naught into exer into entropy generated divided by the useful uh, useful exergy which is input into the system will be m hot into psi 1 minus psi 3 so this is the various important equations for second law efficiencies of various devices.